So in this video I'd like to show how to uh, replace the so-called Mickey Mouse flange on an N23 engine. In this case, um, this component is the same as on the N52 engine and uh, across several other BMW engines. Now what's the Mickey Mouse flange? So in most cases, uh, uh, aftermarket components are about the same or slightly worse than OEM components, but in this case, the OEM is absolute garbage. So what, uh, what this is here is that uh, this is the cylinder head. And uh, what we've got here is, uh, let's move this light over here. There's this fitting here, which goes on the cylinder head and it's squeezed in with this O-ring. And this hose will be connected to that. And um, I'm gonna have to replace this with a standard hose clamp. Um, and this is just a piece of plastic. So when I took this apart, uh, this had already been broken, probably by some past uh, maintenance. And this was sitting inside this hose. And I had to dig it out. But uh, it's just plastic with these uh, aluminum washers here. And you can't buy this stand alone. But what you can do is you can buy this as part of buying a replacement for the whole hose going all the way to the thermostat up here. So for this engine, that's. Uh, it's a whole cylinder thermostat and then it comes with an o-ring which is back this 29x29 whatever that means as we'll see here shortly now this is the aliexpress special replacement for this which is much more uh, reliable it's made out of aluminum and this is meant to go on here i'm going to tighten this with two uh bolts here at eight newton meters and we're going to have to put a, an o-ring on this now one reason I wanted to make this video was uh, some frequent reports that people aren't able to get this ring on. So this came with this, what I think it was a 22 mil ring, because that's the size of ring from my O-ring set over here. Uh, as I was tightening this, I split managed to split the ring because it just doesn't want to pop in. And furthermore, these two bolts here are only uh, tightening only uh, at the top here there's no bolt at the bottom so the o-ring doesn't want to pop in it sort of wants to just uh, sit like that and not even tighten on it evenly so what i just did now which i wanted to replicate in video was that i tried this with one size below so a 21 o-ring and i wanted to i lubricated it a bit first now this is for the coolant, so you don't want to lubricate this with um, oil or anything like that. But you can lubricate it with coolant. So off screen here, I've got a bucket of, uh, or, a, or a jar of, uh, of coolant. So 50-50 antifreeze to uh, de demineralize water. I'm just gonna dip this o-ring a bit into that. Uh, let's see, that's just the, uh, so that's this is the 22 mil o-ring which is the same size as what came with this and uh, let's see let's get this a bit wet here with coolant again I'm just uh, making sure to lick some of that off because it's uh, it's really tasty. <laughs> no, cool, it's, uh, cool, it's really poisonous. Don't do that. But anyway, so let's see. So before I was able to remember with the one size below, I was able to just knock this in. But maybe I'm gonna have to go back to one size below here. Let's see. And then, um, just to confirm that, I have to wipe my hands a bit here. I'll put the gloves on, it's definitely the right order to do that. Let's just pop this out again and confirm that the o ring is still good. Let's see if I just nudging it out. Uh, I'm just going to pop this o-ring off with a screwdriver, since I'll 
use the fresh one next time. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. So we're in the trash with that. Another 22. And let's uh, do this again. So. Just popping it in the coolant. Popping it on. Just grabbing some coolant here. Notch that in. All right. So that's on now. Fantastic. But um, I was. It just did not want to go in without the without the lubrication. So I think that makes all the difference. And I already compared that um, the O-ring it came with was the exact same size. So, sure that BMW spec is right, but I don't know what that 29 versus 22 refers to. Anyway, so here, uh, here we've got the bolts that are going to tighten this. So usually I like to get specs from uh, the Bentley manual I got here, which in turn is just a rip of BMW's official instructions, but. In this case, I'm going with some random forum posts claiming that this is 8 millimeters. Let's, uh, just hand tightening this here first. Placement, which is what I should have done in the first place, and, um, and uh, this fitting here, I'm gonna have to pop up somehow. Let me just get it up with a screwdriver. And, um, replace this with a just a standard clamp, but uh, since that's less interesting, let's uh, cut it down to this point. Find the order. 